My name's Mr. Dooku, I act a little cuckoo, slaying these rhymes here on YouTube. My clothes are kinda tacky, I never smoke tobacco, and when I see in the street, I yell, keep it wacky! Hello, and welcome back to another Cooking with Mr. Dooku. Today, I'm gonna share with you a family secret recipe. It's been passed down from generation to generation, from Dooku to Dooku. Well, I remember my great-great-great-grandmother used to cook it for me when I was just a little dookie. And I'm going to share it with you today. So first, we're going to take some ramen. And I got beef and chicken flavor. Because we're going to take this train and bring it right to Flavortown. Choo-choo! We're gonna have to crush them up real good. Then you take the flavor packets and sprinkle them all over. Crush those up in there. Alright. Next, we're gonna add some canned meat. Now you can use spam or potted meat, but today we're gonna use luncheon loaf. Mm. Sometimes it's gonna be a little tricky getting it out. We're just gonna lay her in here. Try to spread it out evenly. Because you want all this good flavorfulness. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. It's smelling great already! <laughs> okay, so next, we're gonna take some peanut butter. And we're just gonna glob some peanut butter in there. Mm -mm -mm. That's gonna give it a nice nutty flavor and make it nice and creamy. There. All right, so now for the wet ingredients, we're gonna take some pork and beans. I'm just gonna put the whole can right in there. All right. Then we're going to take two eggs, put those right in there, okay, then we're going to take some canned fruit, it can be any kind of fruit, I chose some fruit cocktails because I like a variety of fruit. I'm just going to pour right that right in there, juice and all. I'm gonna take some ketchup and mustard. Woo! I'm just gonna put that right in there. Get a little low on the mustard. Alright, now for the secret ingredient pancake syrup. Mix it up real good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, then we're gonna pour it over here. Gonna evenly spread it. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait for this deliciousness. Then we're gonna sprinkle it or top it off with cheese.
Now, all that's left to do is bake it! Now we're just gonna bake it for 40 minutes or until it's done. 40 minutes later. Well, it's far too hot to eat right now, so we're gonna let it cool for a bit. While, we're, while it's cooling, check out these cool cooking tips to help you out in the kitchen. When cracking eggs, don't just throw the shell away, crunch them in. They add boatloads of calcium and tons of texture. You ever go to eat some spaghetti and then realize you don't have any sauce? Well, wait. If you got ketchup or salsa, you're in luck. Try combining both of them for a very unique flavor. Mm -mm -mm. You ever get a craving for grilled cheese, but you don't have a frying pan? Well, if you got a toaster and a microwave, you're all right. All you gotta do is take some bread and you put it in the toaster. Once the toast is done, you just butter both sides. Put the cheese in the middle, and then you just pop it right in the microwave. It shouldn't take too long in the microwave. Mm -mm -mm, delicious! Time to dig in. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm, such a flavorful explosion in my mouth. I got the crunchiness with the salty and sweet. And just the perfect, perfect amount. Of, of goodness. Mm. You guys should definitely should try this and, and let me know how it turns out. So make sure you join me tomorrow night, 8, 7 central, for another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dooku, where we're going to take your chocolate and we're going to make it dark. We're going to make it so dark, it turns over to the dark side. Good night!